Awesome. First and foremost, man, how you feeling? I'm feeling great. Feeling great. Feel uh, recovered. Uh, body's a little, uh, well, not a little, way better than it used to be. Uh, had some chills, had a super sore throat for like five days. It was terrible. Don't recommend. Um, but back feeling better. It's been a wild week, a wild couple of weeks around the NFL. As a leader on this team, how do you guys make sure you stay calm and focused amidst all the chaos? Uh, you know, it's going back on a routine that we've set throughout the rest of the year. You know, that's that's what this game comes down to. That's what, you know, life comes down to, come, setting back on your routine. If you have a good routine, uh, then you can always fall back to that to look forward for where to go next. Um, so for me, I know my routine as far as just being a leader on this team is bringing energy, um, really just being vocal out there in the field, you know, not necessarily t towards people, but just in a general sense as far as making sure we're all locked in um, and also doing my part as far as doing my job as an individual as a part of this team as well. And then finally, for me, I know that you were JJ's biggest fan on Sunday to, to see what he was able to accomplish. I know it was in a loss, but um, just what do you make of what you saw from, from Justin? Yeah, man, uh, I think, we, you know, we can always, you know, play better, but I was really proud of JJ um, going out there. I know if, you know, follow my fantasy show, you know, I was telling everyone, hey, pick up JJ because I'm going to be out, pick him up. He's about to have a, a game for himself. I went out there, produced, he was pretty efficient. Uh, as I said, can clean up some stuff here and there, but I was definitely happy to see my guy out there get an opportunity to, to lead the running back role. Um, and I know going into this week, you know, it's going to be more of the same of a, both of us now uh, coming in and being efficient. Thanks, Austin. Yep. Nick Hamilton. Hey, Austin, welcome back. What up, what up? Um, you talked about just about the, the running game and obviously JJ having a good game. But overall, when you look at the, the, the season as a whole, the up until this point, as far as the running game, how would you assess the running game as far as you guys being able to excel in, in various areas and being able to, to produce on the field? Uh, it's been kind of like our season all over the place. <laughs> You know, some weeks it's like, man, we ran the ball well this game. And, you know, some weeks it's like, ah, we didn't. Um, and it comes down to game plan. It comes down to our execution. And, you know, these past few weeks, I feel like we've been able to run the ball pretty effectively, uh, which is great. I think it means we're coming together. We're really getting a sense of what we're trying to do in the run game and uh, figuring out just tempos of how we want to run each run because uh, every run has a life of its own. So I think just having enough time with the O-line and, you know, coaching staff uh, and doing, doing it in practice has really just built us up to a point where now we really feel like we understand the run game, which is going to help us out because being able to physically do it is one thing, but mentally knowing, you know, how this is going to be the most effective based on what the defense is doing uh, takes your run game to the next level. And then you being back just mentally, you know, how, how does that feel, especially being back in the locker room, being amongst those guys and being able to, to, to continue to communicate um, as you guys lead up into Sunday against yeah, Denver? Yeah, feels great, man. You know, I was talking to Coach Stade this morning. Uh, he popped into the weight room, and I was just like, man, it, just, it feels good to be around this energy again. Even though it's a little different now, we're in masks, we've got different protocols, but still just being around the guys after being out for a week and a half at home, um, not really seeing anyone even through the holidays. I was just like, man, this is sad. <laughs> but, uh, you know, coming back to my family, this is my family, away from my family. So, uh, yeah, you can definitely tell, you know, I got good energy, and I'm excited to be back. And lastly, for me, when you look at this Denver team, obviously you guys have the success that you were hoping for last time, but what did you learn from that? experience that will help you prevail this this Sunday and so far? Yeah, um, you know, it's like I say every week, it's, you know, every week has a life of its own, uh, but we've seen these guys before. We know what they're going to do. Um, you know, they're going to play some man, they're going to play sub, maybe to our base look. So, you know, we're going to take advantage of some looks they're giving us, put them in positions where we think we can, you know, run the ball well. I think that's going to be the key to this game. Uh, I think that's the part where we struggled last time against them was running the ball. Um, and like I said, we've really found a rhythm and continue to put that rhythm together. I think that's really going to help us this time. Thanks, Austin. Welcome back. Thank you. Hopper. Hey, Austin. What up? What up? Um, how, how hard was it to watch that game from home? Man, it reminded me of last year, man. You know, I'm sitting at home with a blown out hamstring. You know, uh, just sad. Just watching it, it was like I can't help. <laughs> I remember last game, last year, it was like I don't know, three games we lost, and on that third game, I started doing push-ups because I was so mad. I was just like, I got to do something. <laughs> uh, it didn't get to that point, but uh, I was definitely pretty, you know, disappointed. Just you know, seeing our team just lose the way we did, not making enough plays to get it done. Uh, you know, the Texans showed up, and we we really didn't. Um, and that just goes to show, it really doesn't matter what your record is. You got to show up on every every game that's played in the NFL. Um, 
but yeah, so it's you know a chance we got to bounce back. You know, we have we're on outside looking in from the playoff picture now, but uh, it's still the same mindset. We can control what we control right now, which is this week. When you got back to the team today and just talking to your teammates, what what did they say about what happened Sunday? Uh, I didn't talk to them really a lot about it. Um, I talked to a couple couple guys and it was like it just felt like it was like dead almost and I mean rightfully so we lost a lot of our leaders right a lot of people that bring a lot of energy so you know it's really hard to step up as far as being an actual leader in in one week or in a few days right and feel that role and feel that energy that you know certain guys bring to the team um, so that was understandable but uh, it's not an excuse to go out there and not play well uh, so yeah it's definitely disappointing but every loss is, <laughs> is disappointing uh, but like I said you know you you dwell on it and look you look back you make the corrections you got 24 hours all right we got to move on and can you just walk us through what happened last week like when you started feeling sick and sort of i mean was it just like a, you start feeling a sore throat and you just have like yeah. a sinking feeling like oh god here we go yeah so it was after uh, obviously we played thursday night game over a week ago now um and it saturday felt fine or no sunday or excuse friday Felt fine, but then Saturday morning, or Saturday, yeah, Saturday morning, my throat was just like starting to like feel feel funny, and I was like, man, I need to go get tested just to make sure. And then it was strange because I had I took like four tests, two were positive and two were negative. That's why I didn't go on the the COVID list right away. They might have been like, oh, maybe it's like a false positive, like weird thing. I don't know. And so the next day, same thing happened, positive, negative. And like, all right, we'll stay away, but you know, we're not sure yet. We got to figure this out. And then the next day, which would have been Monday. Um, I was all positive, and so then it was official, and I was put on the list, uh, and that's kind of how it went. My sore throat lasted for five days, had the chills, uh, had my house at like 80 degrees, and I was still under a blanket, and I was still cold, so that was strange, uh, but other than that, those two symptoms were like my main, and then finally faded away. Thanks, Austin. Yep. Fernando. Austin, uh, we were speaking to Limbaugh right now, and he said that um, that basically Coach Daly told you guys, you got your backs are against the wall. It's um, it's going to be interesting to see, obviously, what you guys do with this uh, with this chance. But how do you feel about this game going into this weekend, and obviously you guys playing for your uh, for your playoff lives in a sense? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> in my perspective, our backs always against the wall. Uh, just because we have to fight for our job every single week, right? And not just our job, but to like push ourselves to the, the level that we want to go to individually and as a team. Um, so this week is the same thing, but now there's one more factor that plays into it now, right? That's our playoff picture. Uh, so it's a little, a little bit more motivation to go out there and play as hard as we can. We're going to do that regardless. Uh, but, you know, there's different circumstances that could add a little bit more pressure as far as, hey, this game has more significance, even though we're playing the same amount of like hard, I guess, right? Um, it's like, Every week, there's never a week we go out there and we're like, oh, this game doesn't matter as much. Like, they all matter. Um, so this is another game. Yeah, our back's against the wall for playoff pictures. That's how it goes. Down. That's how it comes down at the end of the season. You know, you're either in or you're out. Um, and it comes down to that for every team. You know, there's every, there's every point besides one team uh, where there's a point in the season where, you know, this is it. You know, whether that's you making the playoffs and you – because if you're in the playoffs, now your back's against the wall every game. Or if you know you're losing games during the regular season, then you eventually get to a point where you're either in or you're out. Um, so for me, it's no different than any other week. You uh, you had an injury that kind of slowed you down a little bit against Casey. How how's that uh, that ankle injury feeling right now? Yeah, I mean, I've been dealing with my ankle um, shoot for since the first uh, Raiders game, which is like week I don't know three or two or three four I don't know. Uh, it's kind of just a week to week thing. Uh, the time off definitely helps. Like it feels back to normal. Uh, so there was a blessing in there, uh, as far as just having that type of time off. But, um, yeah, it's been something I'm dealing with. Just put some tape on it, you know, and, uh, play through some pain. <laughs> With, with the way that uh, you've talked about it before, that you wanted somebody to step up and, and kind of be that number two and help you guys out. Now with the emergence of Justin Jackson really starting to pick up some steam, how much is that going to help your guys' offense uh, moving forward, especially in this big game on Sunday? Yeah, it's great. I love it. I love it because now we can switch it up. Um, it's great for me individually too and as a, you know, uh, more of a personal, you know, perspective as far as just helping, you know, get some some balance as far as reps and actually like moving through the game, um, being able to stay 100. Uh, percent 
Uh, and, you know, JJ was dealing with some injuries, but now he's healthy, he's staying healthy, and, and now he's shown his full potential, which I knew he had. He's shown that in the past. Um, so it's great to have that, that duo in there where we feel like, hey, no matter who the back is in the game, they're going to be efficient. Um, and it's, I think it's really helped our run game as well because JJ's a really efficient runner. So, yeah, glad to have him because that's going to definitely uh, be part of the game plan going forward this week. Uh, last one for me. Any disappointment in not being named uh, uh, first ballot to the Pro Bowl or um, or not first ballot, but like obviously not being uh, first ballot, being a second alternate? It's funny. I, th I swear people get more mad than I get. Like, I, like I'm like, yeah, that would have been cool. To, yeah, absolutely would have been cool to be, a, you know, a Pro Bowler. Um, but just, you know, I do so much for the fantasy community as far as engagement, and they all have my back, and it was showing up. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, yeah, sure, I, want, I would want to go to the Pro Bowl. Absolutely, who wouldn't? Uh, am I disappointed? No, because, I mean, I, I look at our backfields uh, just on our side of the, of the conference, and I'm just like, man, like, we got a lot of really talented backs. Um, and I know even, like, Derrick Henry, like, if he was still playing, like, he, sh he would be in there, obviously, too. So it, it's one of those things where, yeah, it'd definitely be awesome to, you know, have that next to my name. Uh, but it's one of those things where you look, I can't really control it. All I control is what I can, what I can do, and that's play football. Um, so am I disappointed? Yeah, a little disappointed, but nothing to, you know, really get down about. Thank you, Austin. Yeah. A couple more for you. Joe Reedy. Hey, Austin. As, as a player rep, just what have the discussions been like the last couple of weeks just trying to navigate through the different COVID protocols and questions you get from, you know, players on your own team or other, or other um, reps? Because I'm sure like you guys, it seems like it changes hour to hour. Yeah, and I mean, there's still ongoing negotiations, right, of what we're going to do with protocols and this situation. And now if someone's vaccinated, they can test out. And if they're unvaccinated, they can test out. Uh, so there's really just a lot of just discussion as far as with our PA uh, reps or, or our PA just in a general as far as getting the information and then just making sure that our guys know what the information, what the current you know protocols are and the current status of what we're doing to proceed. Uh, so it hasn't been really a lot of questions. There's been some confusion, absolutely. Um, because there is a lot of change and people obviously have a lot of different views as far as COVID. Um, but as far as now with what we're going on, it's like, hey, guys, we, we have an issue. Like people are getting COVID everywhere across the league. Like we have to solve it. So people, guys in the locker room are definitely, uh, you know, aware of that. And now everyone's pretty much accepted. The, okay, everyone's going back to wear a mask. You know, we got to do social distances. We're doing meetings on Zoom. There hasn't been really any pushback just because we understand, look, it's coming down to the last part of the season. Let's get through these, you know, last few games, you know, whether it's playoffs, whether it's these last two. Uh, and let's just be safe. Um, and it's it's obvious. I think it's a little bit more accepted in our locker room because we've had so many guys that have had COVID. So guys are like, oh, yeah, like we need to get this under control. Um, so, yeah, there's been some just just a lot of communication that's gone through um, and some confusion just because of how much it is changing. Yeah. Do you sense – is it more confusion or frustration or a little bit of both? Uh, definitely both. I think a lot of frustration comes with confusion because <laughs> you think one way and then now it's changing and now you're like, well, what about the rules that we had in the rest of the season? And now we're not testing as much as we used to, but we're having more COVID cases. So there's definitely – confusion um, and rightfully so and that's what we're going through with you know ownership as far as making sure we can just have a plan that's going to get us through these last few weeks like look we made it this far let's let's whatever we have to do to get through that's what we're trying to do as the PA to keep us as safe as possible um, so yeah guys are definitely frustrated and then just last thing for me how how much would it mean if you got to 20 touchdowns on the season uh, I mean, I'll try to get as many as I can, so that'd be great. Uh, think about 17 right now. I honestly don't even look at it. If I get 20, great. If not, I'll really just need to win games. <laughs> we need to win these last two games and then see where the, you know, the dice roll. If I get 20 touchdowns, great. Uh, I think that would definitely help us win games. Um, so I'm definitely trying, um, whether it's 20, 21. Just right now I'm trying to get 18. Uh, and then it would be 19. But, uh, yeah, that'd be sick. I think that'd be pretty cool just, you know, looking back to be able to say, hey, I scored 20 touchdowns one year in the NFL. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Last one, Cam. Uh, hey, Austin. What up, what um, up? What's going on, man? W what happened for JJ last week that hasn't been able to happen for the bulk of the season? Uh, I mean, shoot, even in the game before, uh, I think he had a pretty good game too. Uh, he's just, I think he's healthy. Right. I think he was dealing with some injuries in the beginning of the season, uh, whether it was this or that. And now he's finally finding a rhythm. He's getting some just moderate 
special teams play, which I think was a big thing on his body, which he was playing full special teams and trying to play running back at the same time. Uh, so I think they have a balance that's going to be, you know, good for JJ's body and his situation, which is great because that's me too. Like I need to find a balance, right? So we can each balance each other out because uh, he is a great player and it's just he needs to be available, right? Uh, which has been a struggle um, in the beginning of the season. So now that he feels like, okay, he's getting balanced with special teams, you know, he's on a couple, but then he, now he's just, you know, playing offense, you know, here and there as well. Uh, I think that's really helped him out. This past week when, while you were out, were you able to um, get any workouts in? Were you able to maintain some cardio at all? Do you, do you feel uh, ready to go for Sunday? Or uh, are you a little – go ahead. Yeah, I wasn't really doing any – cardio necessarily like running or anything i didn't really go outside um i just was like trying to stay away from everybody and not be a super spreader uh but i, I do have a workout set in my in my house from our covid you know scenario last year um so i was doing so lots lots of movements in my backyard with my bar and i like the whole rack and everything so i was able to stay active okay and then um austin i'm sure you have some feedback on uh, the lasting memory of John Madden for you would be what? Wow. Um, see, I didn't even really have any knowledge of John Madden as far as his impact, as far as broadcasting, things like that. Obviously, I know Madden the game, um, but that's as far as my like, knowledge of John Madden himself, so I really can't comment much more on that.